hey guys welcome back so guys we are continuing our laravel 9 e-commerce series so now guys in this video we are going to learn how to create a search bar so on this search we are going to filter our products done so now guys let's get started so first let's move to this navbar at this search bar guys so let's go and move to your resource views layouts and inside layout we have an inc inside inc front end and then your navbar blade.php file and here you find your form tag here in this input search you have to give a name attribute equal to search and we need to give a value also value equals to null so by default it's going to be null and here guys we have to give a action equal to and you need to create a url so let's create a url named search s-e-a-r-c-h search and method is going to be get all set guys and now you can copy this search url and go to your web.php and inside your controller of your front end controller i am going to create that option route colon colon get method where you are going to paste this search and then you are going to a function like search product okay let's copy this function name and go to your front end controller so let's search for the controller guys front end controller done so we are on the front end controller let us copy that function name copy this and create a function with this search products so after your index function let's create a function and this function name is going to be search products and we are going to get all the request either you use a get method or post method okay so here you get your request and then guys you need to so first we need to check here in if condition and else condition so you are going to use a search request request of search input okay so what is this search input this is nothing but your input box so name which is search so we are copying this and you are getting here done if it is found then you are going to search the product so guys for that let us tell search search products equal to your product model colon colon use a where condition and just get the latest latest function and get the data by paginate paginate of 15 records okay so 15 at once and now guys in this where condition we are going to search the product name so let's give a name and then here use a like and then guys you are going to get your request so first add this percentage and then just concatenate it again so use dot dot and dollar request of search let's copy this from above copy and paste here and end with the percentage as simple guys now it's done and you get your record and we have to show in one blade file so let us just return view function where you are going inside front end folder where pages folder inside that we are going to create a search blade file so let's move to that guys resource views front end inside front end we have a pages so inside that pages we will create a search blade.php file you have created your search blade.php and now here in this view function we are going to send the data using compact function here okay let's copy this and send it so you send this variable and in the else condition when you don't find any data there you have to return and redirect back so return redirect back with the message if you have a message you can set that like message and add the message empty search okay now you can get back to this blade guys and you have to show your products so now guys uh, let us copy the code from a new arrivals page 
let me go to new arrival blade.php and we have looped our product data so let me just show you that new arrivals if you click here new arrivals so here we see that all the products list are displayed so we are going to copy the same design and use it in that search bar okay let's get back now we can completely copy this control a control c copy and close this file new arrival and now guys let's get back to search blade paste it done and now let's go on the top and here you change the search products and here search results will be our heading and the variable you are going to paste is nothing but as search products okay so here you have passed let's copy this and go to your blade get back and paste here product is placed here now what we can do let us just check so now let's search for shirt hit enter or just click search over here on the submit button so here you find search that is search shirt so all the related shirt it has shown okay and now guys i just want to get this data inside this input first let's get back and go to your navbar blade.php inside this value let's tell request colon colon get and now you can just get the parameter name so this is the name which we are sending in as a parameter and you got this let's save and now if you refresh you get your data cool so you see that shirt when you don't have at that time what happens let's just check that it should be empty perfect guys and now let me just search for mi that is mobile okay and note so search and here you get all mi note perfect so now guys let us change this user interface instead of showing in boxes i just want to show in one okay so now guys let's get back to our search blade.php so here we'll create a column md10 and then create one row simple row and then column md3 and then column md9 let me just zoom it okay and now guys let me and now guys let us get below and here you see the product card image let us just control x this complete product card image and paste in the column md3 done and then this is your card body now let us control x for this complete card body and paste in the column md9 so here you paste column md9 and now guys this is your main product card which we have to paste after your column md10 let me paste here and this is our complete row let me minimize this complete row and now guys let's end this product card and just remove this column md3 extra devs all set and here you set your no such products found okay and this is for shop more if you want to keep you can keep or else let's remove that we don't require it just remove and now guys coming back to your browser let's refresh perfect so we get the design guys and i just want to keep in center you can add here justify content center and then guys i just wanted a change over here in the column md9 of your product card body here after this your pricing tag i wanted to show the description small description so as simple guys let's create one p tag and add a style attribute we are doing inline css h e i g h t height 45 pixel overflow colon hidden and inside this just show the description so dollar product item let me copy this product item of your description and let us just with heading called description add a, a tag here 
for view okay view and add a class button button outline hyphen primary and now guys you need to link the href we have already the href let's copy the slug over here complete code and paste here well said guys let me break this down so here you set and now guys let's check the output so refresh now cool and now let me just search for shirt we got the shirt perfect and here if you click view it will view your product also all done guys let's get back all set guys and now let us uh, this is not looking good so let's make this in this alignment so what we can do just add a column 10 here and it's already justified the content in center and now guys let's get back to our front end controller and there you see we have used a paginate so in this paginate we have to show at your search blade so guys for that let me just minimize this product card first and let me get below after your for each or for else condition here add a div so now you can get the variable so what was the variable search products let's copy this variable and use this variable over here links function so now you can see all the paginated data over here so for example let me display one by one okay so instead of 15 let me add just one and now get back let's refresh so here you see guys that is one two one and two if you click on this two you will not be able to loop the second paginate okay so you'll be getting the first only it will not work so for that what you have to do you have to append the pagination so at before this links function use the appends function and inside the append function get all the request inputs okay a request function and your input function that's it and now this will call your current url and then add the links so if you refresh now and let's jump to page nation 2 so if you click here you will see the changes in url cool here you see that search shirt and page nation 2 done guys and if you want to keep this in alignment you can just add a column md10 let me just copy this class and paste here and now you can refresh perfect so everything looks fine guys and now let me get back to the front end controller and make the pagination to 15 as it was let's get back yep let me remove this pagination cool so guys we have successfully seen that how to make a search bar in laravel 9 e-commerce application so guys in this video that's it and let's continue next video with new topic so guys thank you for watching this video please subscribe like and share